Hey, my viewers and subscribers, I'm uh, making a video just to uh, try and respond to a, a recent Farmall 51 video concerning dipsticks. His yeah, friend of his has a Super A1 with a dipstick, and he figured that's kind of unusual. So I'll show you the examples of what's around here, and we'll go from there. This Super W6 does not have a dipstick. Here's the boss where it would go. It's there, but there's no dipstick. The C26, and there's the pet cucks. It's a C264 engine in this tractor. This 400 has the same 264 engine, the C264 engine, and it's got a dipstick. And you see the dipstick has a tube, proper tube that goes in the block, and it pulls in and out. And it just slides in and out, just like the Super E1, and the, the oil pan does not have pet cocks or provision for pet cocks. Now, the Super W6TA diesel... Has also, it, they, they, they have, it has a dipstick, but all of the diesel engines use a dipstick, and they're the type that screw out. And it goes uh, out by the magneto, and that's uh, on the diesel, they, they're screw type dipsticks, so they screw down to hold, hold themselves in and lock down. Okay, this engine came out is, is on, on a Super MTA. This is a dead tractor, parts tractor, but look at here, it's got a dipstick. Now this dipstick looks very similar to the 400 one. And it's got the tube and everything on it. In the provision for the block, it looks like it came just out of the factory. And the uh, cast, it is definitely the right engine out of the track for, for, for the Super M because it's of the casting number of Super M TA 816Z. That means 1954. There's another C264 with a, a dipstick. But, it's up, but this one also has pet cocks. So figure that one out. Okay, this engine is no good, but it, it's just a parts, parts engine. This came out of a W6, just a regular W6. And here, look at that, there's a dipstick. The part number on the block is 6722DG, which is the correct part number for a W6 or M block. But this dipstick just pulled in and out, just like the others I showed you did. And this one does have uh, pet cocks on it too, just like that Super MTA did. And the casting number uh, 944W, so it's a 1951 W6 is what that this came out of. There you have it. There's a W. This is just an ordinary plain old W6 block with a pull-out dipstick and pet cocks. And I'll show you how you tell the. I'll, I'll, I'll show you a U6 now, and I'll show you there. There is a little difference in the dipstick on them. This here is a U6 engine power unit, and you see the the. The provision for the cut cocks have plugs in them, and there's a dipstick, but this is a dipstick that screws in and out like a diesel. It's threaded. So there, there you go. So on, on a tractor that has had a power unit engine put into it, which you, you can bolt these right in a W6 with, with, with a little rearrangement and, and uh, you can put bolt these engines right in a, a Firemall M or a W6, there's no problem there. I'll show you a tractor that's happened to.
This Super W4, we put an engine, a power unit engine out of this to, it, it, into it to revive it. It is a C164, but it's got a dipstick, and this dipstick screws out and pulls out. And, th and this has an engine running side and the engine stop side on a power unit engine. So this is a this is a power unit engine, and it's got a dipstick, and and you see there's plugs in where the pet cocks would be. So there you go. Okay, here's a W9. Uh, W9s always have dipsticks. They're the screw type dipstick, not like the 400 or the. Not like the 400 that pulls in and out. These are screw type dipstick, just like the power units. And these have always had that. This tractor's 1953. And that, you see, there is a provision in the pen that's blocked from the factory for, uh, for pet cocks, but to, to my knowledge, W, I've never seen W9 that didn't have a dipstick. They always have, have had dipsticks. Another thing that's unique about a nine is the 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 distributor rotates and magneto or magneto I should say rotates counterclockwise. So there you go compared to the other all the other gas engines run get run clockwise. Here's a C one thirteen power unit, and it's got a screw type dipstick in the same location as. Uh, the what the Super E one that was shown. And it's a screw tight dipstick, but his is a pull out dipstick and that engine cannot be possibly be a power unit engine because the you, you, that where the starter goes, the starter location, the blocks are cut out for the starter and yet would appear appear on the tractor if a power unit engine was put in it, so so there's no way there, there's absolutely no way that's the case on that particular tractor. And there again, a screw type dipstick, as opposed to a pull out dipstick. Now a last tractor to do is the 240. Now one thing I noticed is that uh, your buddy Super A1. His dipstick was behind the filter like the power units were. But my 240, despite having the same C123 engine, the head of the filter, just like the rest of the tractor, and the, the construction of the dipstick is exactly the same pretty well. It's de it, and there's a short tube. It's definitely was international. Whether it was a parts option after the fact, or whether it was original, that's, I don't know that yet, I can't prove that, but that Super A1 certainly isn't the only international that, that, that I have see, seen that shouldn't have a dipstick and does. Uh, anything with a power unit engine of that era would be a screw type dipstick, it won't be a pull out, like I should just showed in the, the Super W4. So my guess is the Super A1 is definitely correct. Doesn't matter if it's, a, it's an I-8 accessory or it was factory, it does, that, that doesn't matter. That's still, a, that's still an I-8 thing. Okay, there's one more thing i got to show you. This is, I borrowed this from my dad, I just got it. And this is an original IH merchandiser. It's an original document. It is not a reproduction. And I dug through this and I found something that will kindle your interest. Okay. On it is engine oil level gauges bayonet type. That's a fancy way of saying dipstick. And on... C-123s, it shows uh, the Super A and AV series, 
it's having that as an option. It shows the part number for it. It shows. It also shows that in, it, for 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 A A A V super A super A V B B N and C with the one thirteen. So that was that is definitely possible to to get a dipstick uh, an older engine. It's not very common. The parts books don't usually recognize that, but there it is. And then I'll just flip it over. It doesn't say anything for the C248 like I showed you, but it does for the 264 in the Super in in, in the Super M and Super W6 series tractors. So there there you go. So that is very possible. And then the C C335 that's an older number. 552775DX is an older number because. CC 335s always have a dipstick. I live in Canada. The oil is right here in Alberta, but the dipstick is in Ottawa. God bless. See you in the next video, whether it be mine or yours. Bye for now.